Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. In this video, I'm going to discuss this question of IT Jam 2020 in the NAT section, which is the numerical answer type. This question is quite tricky, but easy for those who have a good knowledge about geological maps and cross section. But if you like this concept, this question would be quite difficult for you. Okay, so I'll tell you how to get the answer. But before that, I will discuss with you all the structures on this map. Okay, all the markings like the uh, what does this contour, the pattern of the contour signify? What does the pattern of the outcrop and the fault plane signify? Okay, what what is the strike and dip direction of the fault plane, the beddings, etc. Okay, I will try to explain this nicely so that you actually see what is happening here. So for that, see this image. This is an image of a ridge and it is sloping this way. So it is a sloping ridge. Okay, now suppose if I have to make contour markings on this, elevation contour markings on this for this ridge. Okay, so what will I have to do? I have to make a horizontal plane along which this will have the structure will have an equal height okay so for that i would have to mark a line like this right this is a horizontal plane okay suppose it is at a height of 4 meter now now i have to make a 500 meter boundary okay so suppose this height is 100 meters and I have to make a 500 meter elevation quantity. So, from this point, okay, from this point, I would make another horizontal section along each point along which this ridge will have an equal height. Okay, so this is a 500 meter quantity. So, if you see this, these contours from this direction, from up just down below you will see this type of pattern pattern forming you see okay so this part the left side of the fault represents the topography represents, represents the sloping ridge now see this image okay this is an image of a valley Okay, so if in, in this case, if I want to uh, make the elevation contours, I would have to make a horizontal section like this. Right? Okay. Suppose this is 400 meters above mean sea level. And suppose this is a height of 500 meters. So I have to make a section like this okay so see if you look at from above then the pattern is like this right see this is an extension of 500 meter conduit this is a 500 meter conduit and this is a 400 meter this part of the map the topography represents a valley now let's see the outcrop pattern of the bedding plane in the fault plane okay so if if the beds are dipping like this suppose in this direction and you have a horizontal surface okay the, the surface topography is horizontal the outcrop pattern which will be produced would be like this it would be straight line okay but but in this case the topography is a sloping ridge that is why if a bed is dipping this side the outcrop pattern is the outcrop pattern which is produced is like this okay this is a this is b this is c okay 
this is happening why because suppose you are at this level okay you are standing here okay and the outcrop between the c and d the bedding plane between b and c the contact between b and c is at this point the outcrop at is is at this point okay. now if you move towards the higher elevation at this point at this surface suppose this is 500 and this is 400 elevation the outcrop is at this point okay so if if you are moving at a higher elevation the outcrop pattern the outcrop is moving the side right so this is a bed dipping the side and this is a bed dipping the side okay just now just try to compare you are moving from here to here at a higher elevation right now if you move at a higher elevation each point of the bed the outcrop of the bed should be in a in this direction right like this okay so as the slope is gradual it is looking like this okay and as the height is decreasing again it is coming back right as the height is decreasing again it is at this point it will be here this point it will be here and this moving in this direction as the height is decreasing again in similar is the case with the valley okay if if the beds dipping in this direction the outcrop pattern would be like this okay could be like this and this a b and c okay same case here if you start digging and you reach to this level the outcrop will be exposed here which was previously exposed at this point okay so it is moving the side so as you are moving down the slope in this direction each and every point of the outcrop is moving towards its dip direction which is this now look at the fault plane it is a straight line even on this topography why this is important as if there is any plane which is vertical which is oriented vertically will have a straight outcrop on the surface okay or on any topography whether whether the topography is horizontal or whether there are ridges or valleys it will be a straight line okay now let's approach towards the answer okay so how we will do that we have to construct stratum contours or structure contours so what are these stratum contours stratum contour okay so these are same as the elevation contours which is which is this line but this this stratum contour is reserved for the structures of the earth okay like the bedding plane or the fault plane okay you also call it structure contour okay so they will represent equal height of the structure of the bedding plane or the fault plane okay so for constructing a stratum contour what do you do just take two points where a contact is exposed at the same height so at this point we can see that this this dc contact is exposed at 500 meter elevation okay and at this point it is also exposed at 500 meter elevation so what we will do we we'll draw a line connecting these two points okay okay this is the line which is connecting these two points 
okay so this is the structure contour for this contact which is between c and d c and d okay now just see the contact between uh, c and b at 400 meter elevation okay this is at this point okay going along like this so this this stratum contour this is a straight line it represents the strike line of this strata okay so this is a 500 meter contour and it is a 400 meter stratum contour by this we can see that the beds are dipping in this direction okay to see that if the beds are dipping like this okay you have a surface okay if the beds are dipping this side this is a height of 500 meters and is height of 400 meters okay so at 500 meters the contact would be at this point and at a 400 meter elevation the strike line would be at this point okay so same is the case here so the beds are going to dip in this direction if you try to find out the the stratum contour of c and b boundary on this side of the pole on the right side you can see that here is exposed at 500 meters and here it is exposed at 400 meter contour so we can construct the stratum contours again for so connecting these two points this is a 500 meter stratum contour and this is a 400 meter stratum contour for c and b contact okay so here you can see the 500 meter contour of the c and b contact is coincident with the 400 meter stratum contour of the b and c contact on the right side of the pole okay so this cannot happen this can only happen if the beds are displaced okay i mean b and c contact would be exposed at other points also okay like here you can see that it is exposed at 400 meter okay this can be exposed at 400 meter obviously but not at the same point they will not be coincident okay this this is a point where uh, which is a 430 meter elevation maybe okay 450 470 484 500 okay so it would be exposed at different points but if they are coincident this means that it is affected by the fault so this is a 400 meter contour stratum contour and this is a 500 meter contour so we can say the vertical direction the distance the beds moved is 100 meters which is 500 meter minus 400 meter which is 100 meters so if we try to draw a profile section along this line this is the strike strike line okay okay these are the strike lines and along the strike lines if we want to take a profile section profile section is what a vertical section if we if you look from this side the section which is vertical we will draw it here okay this is this is called a profile section okay so along the along the strike line if you are taking the cross section you will be, you will have a zero dip right the apparent dip and the true dip a concept okay if you if you take a vertical section perpendicular to the strike you get a true dip okay but if you take the section parallel to the strike you will get zero dip okay so 
the beds would appear horizontal in this section okay and this would be the fault plane right it would appear like this and it would be vertical right and the beds would be horizontal okay so it is a b and c and now this side of the fault what has happened is that they are displaced and this is uh, sorry, this is a this is b and this is c okay and this displacement is 400 meters sorry 100 meters So this was all about this question. I hope this video helped you build your concept even more. And if you have any doubts, you can let us know in the comments. And one more important announcement is that we are starting new batches of gate net and ID jam very soon. So keep in touch and keep learning.